Hello, my name is Małgosia. I'm a trainer on Tornos machines. It will be my pleasure to introduce you in programming of Tornos ESO machines using TSIS. TSIS is a software dedicated to programming of many families of Tornos machines. Let us look at it. You see the set of machine families in the first column. Among them, there is Swiss DT family. And within this family, we have the type Swiss DT 26 HP. We will focus on this machine in our further trainings. This is allows us to prepare a complete part program. So, at the beginning, let us talk about elements of a part program. We can open a program and you see that we have three tabs here. Part Info, Tools and Edition. They correspond with elements of our program. Clicking on Part Info, we see the set of forms. We fulfill those forms with main parameters describing our part, machining process, and main machine configuration. The second element of our program is Tool Catalog. We see it under tab Tools. And the last element, which is Edition, this is ISO codes. We write here using ISO codes machining operations. Let us talk now, shortly, how TSIS facilitates programming. First, we have to say that in each program section, Tornos prepared pre-program elements. It is shown roughly in the drawing with dark yellow color. In this way, we receive a kind of pattern for a part program. We call this pattern model or template. We fulfill, when preparing a new program, this model with the values of parameters, with tools specifications and ISO codes specific to our part. Altogether, it forms a complete part program. Model isn't, of course, the only facility of thesis. The important feature is that machine kinematic is described in thesis. And for our machine, we have the complete list of all possible tool holders which can be assembled on our machine. Additionally, thesis shows and also checks the positions where we would like to assemble our selected holder. We receive help and support also during writing ISO code. First, we have extensive help with descriptions of ISO codes and also M codes. The other example of support is wizard here. We receive the list of needed parameters for a cycle or a G or M code with descriptions of those parameters. Verification of correctness of our program is always active in TCs. In this way, the possible errors are located. Of course, not all of them, but many. You can notice by this red triangle, it is a warning that there is somewhere a mistake in our program. We can scroll program to find it, and you see that it is shown by red underscore, and also comment about the possible reason of the error is displayed. In our case, this is typical typing error. I have to change tool number, and in this case, you see that warning disappeared and underscore also. Of course, when we write a program, 
and we program a tool path. We would like to know if it is correct. TCS gives us the possibility of this checking using trajectory 2D. The path of our tool is displayed and also we can simulate movement of a tool. All of us know how crucial parameter is cycle time. TCS calculates cycle time for our program and we can display it in bottom panel. Here at the right bottom corner, you see the calculation of cycle time expressed in seconds. Also, those two lines, path one and path two, represent the layout of operations in those two paths. For each operation, we have duration time calculated. Using this information, it would be easier for us to look for decreasing of cycle time. The other feature of TCS is the possibility of using libraries. Let us click on library. And here we have Tornos libraries. For our machine, there is the list of patterns, how to program, how to use FANUC cycles for different operations like drilling, tapping, threading, and so on. We can simply drag such an element into our program. And there is possibility of using library in opposite direction. It means that we can store our programmed operations in our own library and then later reuse them in the other programs. These are the main thesis features.